Hi, this is Richard Pearce from Build a Joomla website with a quick Joomla tutorial. RSS feeds are a fantastic website feature that tend to be underused or misunderstood. I'm not going to cover the basics in this tutorial, so if you've never heard of RSS, do a search for RSS in plain English by CommonCraft. There are two ways to use RSS feeds in Joomla. Firstly, you can display feeds from third-party websites, and this is managed using the News Feeds component in the Joomla Administrator. The second feature is creating a feed of your content, so visitors can become subscribers and get notified when you make updates to your website. It's this second use of News Feeds that I'll discuss in this tutorial. The easiest way to test this function is to use a web browser that notifies you when it finds a page containing a reference to an RSS feed. I'll be demonstrating using Google Chrome, which when I last checked doesn't come with a notification option as standard. You have to go to the Chrome Web Store, search for RSS, and install the RSS subscription extension by Google. Then when we visit a page that includes a reference to an RSS feed, the standard RSS icon is displayed towards the top right of the browser window. This is a standard Joomla installation that includes the sample data. The home page does indeed display an RSS icon, and clicking this displays two types of feeds that when selected allow you to add the feed to your preferred RSS screen reader. So far, so good. But, now let's take a look at the example pages. When I choose single article, the RSS icon disappears. It's also not there for article categories. But it returns for article category blog and article category list and featured articles. This is normal Joomla behavior. Category blog pages, category list pages and featured articles pages have a corresponding RSS feed. Other page types do not. I guess the thinking is that RSS feeds are about notifying people when a new article is created. This can happen on those type of pages, but not individual article pages. Let's take a look at the category blog page example again. When you look at the RSS feed for this page, you'll see that it lists all articles in this category. Perhaps that makes sense technically, but for a lot of sites it isn't the experience you want to provide. It would be better to have a single feed for all your articles. That way the RSS feed will be the same on all pages, and subscribers will get notified when an article is added to any category. Doing this requires a free extension called Ninja RSS Syndicator, available at Ninja Forge. Download the extension, but then go back and look for add-ons and get the Ninja RSS Syndicator module. Install both of these via Extension Manager. Then go to Components, Ninja RSS Syndicator, Feeds, New. There is a distinct lack of support for this extension, uh, did I mention it was free, but most of the defaults will be fine. Give it a name that corresponds to the feed contents, 
the feed I'm creating will display all articles, so I'll call it all articles. Then I recommend changing sort order or order by created date descending, which means the newest article will be displayed at the top of the list. Have a think about the rest of the options and then save and close. At this stage, nothing has changed on the front end. The default Joomla feeds are still displayed. Go to Module Manager and search for RSS. Edit this and change the title to something like RSS Feed. Place it in your desired template position. Make sure that the status is published and specify that the module should appear on all pages or whatever you like. You can experiment with the various options, but the default settings will do in this example. Save the module and note that an RSS icon now appears in the position you specified. Clicking that icon activates the subscribe function, which varies between web browsers. Activating the module also adds an RSS feed reference to the source code. This means when the visitor clicks the RSS icon in their browser, they get three options. The original two feeds and your new one. This may be what you want. This allows the visitor to subscribe to just the articles in a particular category or all articles. Personally, I prefer to provide a single feed. To disable the standard Joomla feeds, return to Administrator and go to Article Manager, Options, Integration, and change Show Feed Link to Hide. This should fix it in theory, but if you have a look now, it's still the same. The sample data in Joomla overrides some of the global settings. If you find this is happening on your pages, check the menu item for the page. Under Integration Options, change Show Feed Link to Use Global. Now when I click the RSS icon, the browser doesn't give me a choice and instead opens the subscription window. And that's how to create your own Joomla RSS feeds for free. This has been Richard Pierce from buildajoomlawebsite.com with a quick Joomla tutorial. For more great tutorials like this one, head over to our site at www.buildajoomlawebsite.com joomlawebsite.com